Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a free diagram software that will allow you to draw your own flowcharts for free inside the web browser directly. I'm talking about diagrams.net, also known as draw.io. You can just head to that website and you will see something like this. We can decide later where to save our file and here is our blank new document. Before we get started, we need to be sure we unlocked correct shapes group. So click here, more shapes, and be sure you got this tick next to flowcharts. Okay, flowchart is turned on. We can click apply. And from now on, you will see it on the left side. Open this group and you can simply drag and drop elements that you need to use in your flowchart. This is totally free software running directly in your web browser. So you can open this on any device with internet access. That's really great. No watermarks, no limitations, just free software. Okay, so let's just drag and drop a few different shapes that we can use to build our flowchart. When you hover your mouse, you can see the shapes, shape and the name of it. Okay, let's get started. Maybe position this process over here. You can easily resize everything you want. If you click on shape and hit delete on your keyboard on, or you can also right click and select delete from the menu. Just duplicate the shape, command C and command V on Mac. Resize this start circle over here. Again, simply copy and paste the shape you want to reuse. That's all right. Select two in the same time so we can position them in the middle like this. Okay, we got shapes. Maybe one more to end everything. We can reuse this one. Okay, and now how can we join them together, connect with arrows? Simply hover your mouse. When you see this green point, drag the arrow from it out. Hover your mouse, drag the arrow out. Hover your mouse. When you see the green spot, you can drag the arrow out. This way, you link them together. Can you see this? that join with the arrow and arrow will modify itself whenever you change the position of the block. That's the powerful thing behind diagramming software. That's, it's why it's much better than doing this in like normal software for like word processing, like Google Docs. Here you can link it with the arrow and the arrow will stick to the shape. So if you later on change stuff, add blocks, move them around, the arrows are still here sticking to different shapes. If you double tap the shape, you will be able to add text to it. Okay, double tap this one and here it is, double click. You can type your text inside. On the right side, you can arrange different elements. The right side of the screen, you got this three panel style text and arrange. They're responsible for visual side of the diagram program. I can also select all shapes and now go to style and change the style for the whole diagram. I can change the line as well, maybe like this, opacity, we can add shadows, extra stuff. You can also use quick styles. Click on the shape and then pick the color from the quick styles menu. like this really fast and easy to use okay so i got my little flowchart here i can go to general and drag some additional text box if i need it maybe extra text here and here 
Okay, if I go to view, I can change the grid view. I can just uncheck this one. I cannot see the grid any longer. Don't worry if you run out of space. If you drag this down and go out of the page, you run out, run out of space on your page, it will give you a new page just under. That's really easy way to extend your document. Okay, we can rename and save our document so we can edit this later on. And we can also export this to show to someone or add to our work, slideshow, documents. We got multiple formats, we can use PDF as well. And here's my PDF document that I have exported from this, from this online diagramming tool. Okay, so remember, diagrams.net is a free tool. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time.